So now in this video we're going to look at a trimmer potentiometer. The arrow's uh, pointing that way, right there. Uh, trim pot for short. It's a potentiometer, but it's a smaller version. It fits in the board better and stuff. It has these really nice pins. So in any case, uh, these two pins here, there's uh, 10,000 ohms because that's its rated value. There's different values of resistance between those two pins. It's actually curved. And right here is a wiper that slides across that. So you can either uh, get a variable resistance between uh, those two pins, a variable resistance between those two pins, or in the case of this video, we're going to put a voltage across both pins and where the wiper slides along, we'll get a fraction of that voltage out. So the power supply is set to 5 volts. Hopefully uh, that uh, focuses. But in any case, we can uh, go about halfway down right there and we got uh, two and a half volts. And we can go down to a uh, zero volts right there. That's where I set zero volts for uh, channel two here. And uh, let's go back up to five volts. And it doesn't matter what the supply voltage is, you get a fraction out. So there's 100% because we're all the way to the positive supply. And uh, that's seven volts. If we go halfway, we'll have about three and a half volts. And uh, of course, we can go down to zero again, anywhere in between. So now this is just a signal voltage. Uh, we set this and we give it to other circuitry, in this case, the oscilloscope. The oscilloscope just looks at the voltage. It doesn't take uh, current. If it took current, it would throw off uh, the voltage. So we just want to give it to something else that responds to that voltage.